Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. We have very exciting things happening in this episode. Of course, we're having Corn Farm's wedding, so Cornelius and Alice are about to get married. Guests are arriving now. I have just realized I have the game on pause, but let me unpause that. So guests are arriving. I'm just going to fill you guys in on a few things before we begin. So we're having Corn Farm's wedding, and then we're also going to have Han and Araminta. They're gonna be having their third baby, and I'm so excited for that. I'm also going to show you guys what I have for their palaces. So so far in our new world because I do have Snowy Escape, the new pack. So I'm going to show you those. They aren't fully furnished yet, but I will show you guys that after the wedding. And then I am going to be talking about Alice May's story just for a little bit. I'm not going to go that in depth with it because most of the story stuff is all on Instagram. I have posted a lot of story posts since the last episode. There's like, I think like 13 right now. So I'm going to list all of that in the description below. I'm going to number them and say which characters are in each of them because I'll talk about it a little bit in this episode. I do have to make this episode and future episodes a little bit shorter. At least I think they will be because I, um, in the last episode, I just couldn't edit it that much, but I was talking so much. So I know it ended up being really long because I couldn't cut out any like spaces between my words or any mistakes that I made. So the future episodes and this episode we're just going to be doing a few less things because recently we've been doing like four or five things per episode, um, but now we're probably going to do like two or three things per episode. So just wanna let you guys know that I did talk to my doctor about my carpal tunnel and I'm okay to edit videos. It's just that I, or he recommended that I edit just a couple hours a day. So that is why, but I'm excited to be doing videos again and to continue the story because I have a lot of stuff planned. And of course we have our wedding and baby season right now. So this is gonna be really exciting. So if you're excited too, make sure we hit that like button. Okay, so it's been about a month since the last episode. So in the last episode, it was the beginning of December. It's now the beginning of January. But this venue was originally created by Queen Semi Ramis. So they're the ones who made the original building and I just completely renovated the inside for our wedding, which you guys will see in just a little bit. I don't wanna show you anything before the ceremony because I want it to be a surprise because I'm really excited for it. I will upload this venue to the gallery as soon as this episode comes out. I'll upload it to my gallery. So my gallery ID is in the description below as well. So if you want the renovated version, there's a few pieces of custom content in there, but most of it is from the holiday pack and from the seasons pack. Okay, so most of our guests are gathered here. I don't know why they're over there and just standing there and then our family's over here. But it looks like most of the guests are here. So we're going to go ahead and start the wedding ceremony. Okay. So again, I made this like a winter wonderland themed. I thought it was really cute too because Cornelius's grandparents, Cora and Edmund, they had a winter themed wedding as well. So before the ceremony, Genevieve did ask Ellis if he would want her to walk him down the aisle since Corinne was walking Cornelius down the aisle. And of course you guys know Ellis's parents passed away. So I think Ellis was really touched by that. Genevieve is like a sister to him now too. And he was really happy that she asked. So I thought it was really sweet for her to be walking him down the aisle. And we have all of their family and friends here and the reception's going to be at this venue as well, but it's on the lower level. So you guys will see that after the ceremony. But yay, they're getting married. I'm so excited for them. They're so cute. They are going to be going to Granite Falls for their honeymoon. So the Willow Creek family, they have a house there and obviously they don't have horses or anything like that because we don't have that in The Sims. But I do believe they have horses at their house in Granite Falls and Cornelius and Ellis will get to ride the horses and go on the trails. So it will be nice and quiet and peaceful and romantic. I think Cornelius needs the peace and quiet. His sisters have been driving him crazy the past few months. They've been super stressed too because of all the wedding stuff as well. So yeah, now they will get some peace and quiet. So they will be there for about three weeks. I'm really excited for them. But yay, they're married. I, well, okay, so this is the full venue. Um, people just stood around them instead of actually sitting down. I only have a few people sitting. We've got Kimmy, I think this is Aisha. We have Araminta, pregnant Araminta. She's about to pop, I'm so excited. And then we have Gabriel, so yeah. 
We have people just standing though. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh my God, wait, so hold on, Zayori. No, wait, where's your clothes? Stop. Okay, we're okay, she's all good. We got little baby Zayori and then baby Rin here too. They're excited to have a either little brother or little sister. So we'll get to see the baby in a little bit. All right, so the ceremony's over. We got Cedric and Aisha. I think they just took a selfie together. That's really cute. Takashi, Maylin, Marjorie, Kimmy, Valid, Jack. We got everybody here. Dowager Queen Evangeline. Gabriel's mother, Ari. Everyone's congratulating Corn and Ellis. I'm such in the habit of calling Cornelius Corn now, so that's just officially his nickname, I think. Okay, so everybody's coming downstairs for the reception now. This is our reception space. I know it's very blue, but I thought it was very fitting since it was a winter wonderland theme. So we have, well, everyone, oh, I guess I didn't plan this out right. I call people to the meal over here, but the eating tables are all over here, but people are using like the cocktail tables in here to eat. We have our bar in here too. Everyone's getting their food and then hopefully they'll start dancing soon. But while they eat, so I'll just talk about a few things. First of all, because I have gotten a lot of questions about this, about when Cornelius and Ellis are ready to have a kid. So I'll tell you guys what my plan is, but I decided when they are ready to have a baby that they're going to have a egg donor and a surrogate. And in story-wise, they would be two separate people. However, since you can't do that in The Sims, I'm going to be cheating it and replacing the baby that the surrogate has with a baby from Cornelius and the donor. And then I was thinking maybe we could say that one of Ellis's relatives was the egg or is going to be the egg donor. And maybe it's like a second cousin or something like that. They're not asking around right now. They're not ready to have a kid, but when they are ready, I just wanted to let you guys know what my plan was. And then of course we do have other weddings to do. We have a lot coming up. I'm thinking we're gonna have one episode with Adric and Destus wedding. And then we'll have another episode with Elon, Natalia, and then Manuel, Juliet, and Elena and Takashi's wedding. So I think that's all gonna be in one other, in one episode. I think that Adric and Destas might be first. I'm not 100% sure yet. It kind of depends on whatever venues are done first, um, but I am going to aim for Adric and Destas to be first. So I think that will be not in the next episode, but the one after that. Speaking of Desta, she is in Cornelius and Ellis's. I can never get them to sit where they're supposed to. That's fine. I like how everyone else is seated though. We got Makana. Oh, what? Uh, Princess Arya. Ooh, whoops. She was definitely not wearing the right outfit, but now she she is. So we got Arya, Makata, Zamora, Valen, Minerva, and let's see, Duke Kintaro. Yes, this is a very random table. We have Takashi, Jessica, and Genevieve here. We have Kaleo, Molly Grace, Frederick. This one seems more correct. Molly Grace, Frederick, and Sadira is joining them too. Amira is just standing with her food. We've got Nea, we have Han, we have Alice May. She's wearing May's dress. She wore this in a previous episode for a wedding, right? I'll put her in this one, because I think for Ari and Gabriel's wedding, she wore that last dress too. We've got Adric here, and and Sir Thomas Stratton. So Thomas and Ariana should be having their baby in the next episode. And then I think the one after that is going to be Charles and Fallon and Journey and Maxwell. I think Diane and Abraham are gonna be trying for a baby soon too. So she might be pregnant soon. And then, so we got Kimmy here and of course Makana. So I'll talk about this real quick too. And this is kind of relating to one of the story posts, but there's a story post below the one, I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know what number it is right now, but um, it's the one that has Kaleo, Makana and Leilana in it. So I just kind of hinted at this, but Makana has been trying to propose to Kimmy. He's tried several times, but something either comes up or his plans gets messed up, but he should be able to propose to her soon. And we've got Arya here, Gabriel's here somewhere. So they will be trying for a baby soon because I mentioned they wanted to wait a year from their wedding and their wedding was in like the springtime. So it's winter right now. In the spring, they'll start trying for a baby. Minerva is here and William is here somewhere too, but then Gabriel's here too. I think that Minerva's parents have been a little more 
lenient and Gabriel kind of like against his will he has been less overprotective <laughs> Arya's been pushing him to be less overprotective I feel like she definitely uses it against him like we weren't allowed to see each other like do you really want to put your sister through that too I feel like Gabriel might have been like yes and she's like no you can't do that where is corn can you use Lotus with your husband they're married I'm so excited oh yeah we have William here we've got Duke and Taro and then yeah Elena Juliet Charles and Louis and Araminta is watching her little- Oh my god, wait, stop! I'm sorry, I do this every time we see Zyari and Rin. But look at them conversing right here at the wedding, just like hanging out with their gigantic plates sitting on the floor and talking. They're so close, they're adorable. I'm so excited for you guys to see- I mean, I know the palace isn't done, but I'm excited for you to see what we have just because the outside of it, when I saw it, I was like, Whoa, so I'm excited. Okay, yeah, they're adorable. Araminta is very pregnant. Uh, just a few things I'll mention because I do see Alice May here, but um, I, I am going to talk about her story more in the next episode. Again, this episode is just supposed to be a little bit shorter, so that's why I'm not getting too into it here. But I haven't really mentioned this in the past, maybe like once or twice, but I part of the jobs of the royal family is that they are supposed to go on royal tours. Like that, I think that's a very common thing. So I mentioned in one of the story posts that Kaleo and his family, the Sulani royal family, they've been traveling a lot recently. Like I think this is the time of year where they go on a lot of their royal tours for like months at a time too. So he's been gone a lot. So this is one of the first times he's seen Alice May in a while. They haven't talked much since their fight. Like, um, like they haven't hung out much since their fight. They still talk. Like they've been friends since they were kids. I think that Alice May, like any time Caspian somewhat comes up, she avoids the subject or changes the subject. I think that she avoids any way for Caspian to come up because she doesn't feel like arguing or dealing with Kaleo's jealousy about Caspian. Caspian's not here. I don't think he would have been invited to the wedding. But yeah, I think that's everything. Again, I cannot spend too much time here. I could could spend forever here and talk about it so much too, but we do have to go. I'm where's Cornelius? I just want them to kiss again. Okay, there they are. They're so sweet. They're married now. I'm so excited for them. Look at Han dancing in the center over there. He's so cute. I think that John and Cornelius, they're on okay terms. You guys know Cornelius. He's just stubborn, so he's not trying to be super close with John, but they're okay. He's doing it for his sister. And I mean, John's a decent guy, so they'll get closer eventually. Oh, and now Han's doing push-ups in the center. Okay, that's fine. Well, all right, they're married. I'm so excited. All right, so we are now in Mount Komorebi. So this is the main palace here. I talked about this a little bit in the last episode. I know the last episode was the filler episode and it was very long. So if you missed it, I we're, we're gonna pretend that Mount Komorebi has always been part of Guangxi. I'm still going to have the kingdom be named Guangxi. I don't wanna change it at this point. Mount Komorebi can just be a part of Guangxi. Like, that can be what the mountain is called. Since this is The Sims and we have a separate story, it's like when packs come out, we get these new worlds and suddenly there's this new kingdom. So it wouldn't quite work out that way in real life. So that's why I'm making this all the same kingdom. I hope that makes sense. It is different from Dakarai because in Dakarai's case, they had discovered like this other section and then they combined and became the UKSD. So let's just say, let's just picture a map. Let's say in the worlds, like with the Sims, Mount Komorebi is right here. Guangxi or Glimmerbrook would be just right here, but put them together and it's all Guangxi and then up here is Mount Komorebi. So I hope that makes sense because some people were confused. Now this is our, going to be our main palace. I spent like a whole evening, just hours because this originally was for a 64 by 64 lot. So this is the original palace. This is made by Little9203. They did an amazing job, but again, it was for a 64 by 64 lot. So a bunch of this stuff got cut off as you can see, it's missing that whole front part. They have like a little circle. I don't know what it was, but maybe a fountain, a, a whole circle thing here. And then the side buildings got cut off. So at this point, these buildings are barely usable. Honestly, they could be like crypts or maybe, I don't know, like secret hideout place. I could probably put stairs going underneath 
and then stairs that like end up going there. Maybe like some hidden doorways or something like that. That would be fun actually. And then yeah, same thing here. As you can see, this is bare because I just put walls up here. I haven't added what was on the sides yet. They did an amazing job, but I'll just show you guys real quick. Most of the ballroom and throne room I want to keep. I'm probably going to change it up a little bit, but this was pretty much what they had already. They actually used the throne from Get Famous, which you can't actually sit on. So I'm playing around with the platforms. Oh yeah, we got platforms, so now we got better throne rooms. But I'm gonna make it look better than this, I promise. I just wanted to show you what we had so far. But I love this, it was perfect, it has that big open space. I love the big open spaces in the palace. It's just easier to navigate in them. And then I will figure out what to do here, but then we got like other rooms upstairs here. One of these is gonna be Han and Araminta's room, maybe that one, and then maybe their bathroom. And then this one, maybe Zayori's room and a bathroom here too. And then on the third floor, we can have Rin and other child's room. And then I can use these side buildings as well, probably for the in-law suite for Mei Lin and Kentaro. They're not currently in the household, but I will move them there. So that is this palace. And then I'm gonna show you the other one. So I did two because I figured they could have one for when they wanna go into the mountains as a family and I take a little vacation, kind of like we have them. Well, no, it's not the same thing, but I was gonna say kind of like how we have the mermaid palace for Sulani, but that's because they're mermaids and they wanted another place to stay, but that's like their vacation home to me, just cause it's like more emerged in the water. But you guys can see what we have here. I haven't replaced all the buildings. This world is so beautiful. I did a little exploring of the world and we played around with the activities and stuff on a very recent stream that I posted on my Mirror Ray Streams channel. So that's linked below if you wanna check that out. We went sledding and skiing and we got to go to a festival and check out some of the creative sim items. We're gonna go here because this is their second palace. We're just, we'll bring Takashi, we got Rin and Zayori in their little outfits. All right, so again, not fully furnished, but this is their resort palace. Honestly, Mei Lin and Kentaro could also stay here. And then we also still have the palace in Guangxi, so I think most likely Takashi and Elena will be moving there when they get married. So this palace was made by Riley, who also made the Dakarai Palace. His gallery ID is R-Y-L-E-Y 05 underscore five. We have the throne room here and then the little conference room. And we have a seated area for them to eat too. Yeah, I think this one's just like more chill and laid back. And then again, the other rooms aren't really furnished, so there's not much to see here. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this room real quick. Okay, Araminta is in labor, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. All right, Takashi, wait, hold on. I gotta put the girls in their little, I wanted to put them in their little puffball jackets. They're so cute. All right, Takashi will watch the kids. We're going to have Araminta and Han go to the hospital. I realize I don't really have any furniture in the other palace, but I don't know. I have them staying there. We'll pretend there's furniture or we could have them living back in Glimmerbrook. If it's helpful, I can just call. Okay, wait, why can't I have her go have a baby? Uh, oh my God, they're hugging. That's so cute. Okay, um, I think I have to have her go home to the unfurnished palace. But if it's helpful for you guys, instead of calling the world of Glimmerbrook Guangxi, because since that's the kingdom name, I can call it Glimmerbrook. So you know, like that's the EA world. And then we can call this Mount Komorebi or Guangxi. I don't know what's more helpful. Okay, you guys, how did Erminta have their baby? They had a girl. Okay, I am going to go with the name Mamie. So it's M-A-E-M-I. Hopefully that's not too confusing with May Lin and Alice May. It shouldn't be. Mamie. No, I think that's cute. That's fine. But yay, guys, they have their baby. Where is, oh, she's floating. Okay, I put her upstairs. I know it's a very dark room, but I promise it will not be like that when we're done. The rooms are gonna look very different. So shush, feed. I will show you guys maybe in the next episode once I add the toddler preset and dress her and everything like that. But yeah. So I think that is everything. So we are gonna end this episode here. So definitely let me know if you enjoyed the wedding, how you liked it and the decorations and everything. Let me know what you think of our new palaces. I will keep building up the world and show you guys the progress and everything in episodes. Let me know what you think of our new princess, Mamie. And she's our new member of the Guangxi Royal family. I'm so excited. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.